What is up, people? Kill 36 here. 40,000 mile update. Do apologize for the lack of video content. It's been over two months since my video review of Peter's Fiesta ST. And, uh, you know, my only excuse is that I've just been kind of taking some time for me and my family. Um, I don't really ever talk about my personal life, but um, me and my wife did have another uh, child. Uh, it's a baby boy. His name is Aiden. And we just celebrated his um, his first birthday last week. So that's pretty much where I've been. I've just been spending time with him. All right, so what about my focus? First off, I'm going to talk about some things that I didn't like about the car. And after I, I, I picked it up, um, I noticed uh, a loud banging sound um, when I was doing a hard shift from first to second or from second to third. And after doing a little bit of research, I found that it was a somewhat common problem um, it was a bad motor mount basically and it was the engine essentially bouncing off you know whatever the frame or the engine bay whatever it is so that sucked um, I, you know I took it in the Ford and uh, there was a TSB for it already and uh, I think they had it for maybe a couple of days maybe not even that maybe they just had it for a day I can't remember it was, it was a pretty long time ago and so that kind of sucked but you know, I understand that, you know, well, it's a first year car, first run car, they're going to have issues, but I just feel like Ford should have knew about this. They should have, you know, this shouldn't have been a problem coming from the factory. So after that was fixed, um, the car was good. Uh, I really, really started to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I put out some videos that you guys have seen back in when I first got the car. So, um, but it wasn't long after um, that I started just kind of getting a little too used to the power. Um, in stock form, the, F the Focus ST is, you know, pretty quick. Uh, but I feel like probably at least 75% of you guys out there are going to get bored with the, the power really fast. And so I started looking around for a tune. And, um, you know, I had a couple Mazda Speed 3 buddies uh, who were freak tuned and had nothing but great things to say about it. And I'd seen their car in action. And so I, I, looked, I looked him up and he, in, in fact, did um, tune Focus STs. So I, I purchased the uh, Cobb unit through him and I got his OTS tune. I loaded it up and uh, I've just, I've had that tune loaded into the car ever since uh, which has been over a year now and I'm absolutely satisfied with the power uh, horsepower and torque jumped up pretty good which makes for a really good and really entertaining driving experience so um, but back on to the issues that I've had with the car uh, right at about 15,000 miles um, I had another warranty issue uh, I was out there in Mexico uh, having some fun with a uh, Lancer Evolution uh, 10. Uh, I think he was stocked with just an intake. And we were just doing some, uh, some you know, some uh, Mexico highway pulls. And uh, we did a couple, I pulled them, and then we, he wanted to do one more. And so I let him pick the speed. And we did it, and then I went to go into fifth gear. And I heard this nasty sound. And I got really scared. I was like, oh my gosh, I, you know, something broke. Uh, we, we pulled into a gas station. It was still, you know, still able to go in, in, into the gears and stuff. And uh, we, we talked a little bit. I told him what happened. And, but I told him, you know, everything seemed okay. Well, um, we went our separate ways. And I went to leave the, leave the gas station. And first gear was grinding. It was popping into neutral. It was really scary. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear were perfectly fine. But first gear was basically unusable. So I had to essentially, anywhere I was driving, I had to use second gear to start off. Um, but luckily though, the car, uh, the Focus ST, you know, uh, since the turbo is so small, it spoo so quickly. I didn't really have to ride the clutch too much. So I was able to get, get it to the dealership uh, service center. And I told him, I was like, hey, uh, you know, obviously I didn't tell him I was racing when it happened. But I told him, you know, oh, you know, I was just, you know, driving to the grocery store. 
and this issue happened and now first gear is grinding it's you know doing all this stuff and at the time I still had everything that I would had done to the car right now so I had the Magnaflow muffler on there uh, with the resonator delete I had the engine intake and I had the freak tune on there well I loaded that the stock tune back in before I took it to the dealership uh, just for you know cons you know extra concerns that I had of maybe they're gonna try to den not deny this well um, the, I dropped it off and they gave me a loaner car and but the service advisor told me he's like well you know if we're gonna look at it and if it comes back as you know user error like something you broke then there's a good chance that you know Ford's gonna charge you for it they're not gonna pay for it you are gonna have to pay for the rental and I was really scared well luckily they called me the next day and they're like oh apparently um, you know our mechanic looked at it and you had a defective transmission from the factory and uh, Ford's gonna replace the whole thing on their warranty your, your loaner car is covered and ooh, at that time uh, you know my heart was like oh you know because anybody knows transmissions are expensive anytime you break something on a new car especially oh it's you're looking at a lot of money to fix it so that was a relief so other than those two hiccups um, the car has been a joy to drive all right so what about the power um, like I said I've been uh, using the freak tune for over a year and a half now and it's just been the OST freak tune I haven't even got a data logged or nothing like that it's not that I don't want to but um, I just you know just between my kids and everything else I just really haven't had the time or motivation because quite frankly I've been very happy with the OST tune on this car um, but for you guys for your horsepower junkies out there um, I don't know if I would recommend the Focus ST for you because you know quite frankly to get any real good power out of it you have to upgrade the turbo um, that costs a little bit of money and even then you can't push the horsepower that that far um, maybe about 400 you know crank horsepower uh, I think that's about the max before you have to upgrade the fuel system and then um, even then you know I've, I've already read and seen uh, people popping motors with upgraded turbos so Focus ST is not really a car that I would recommend for somebody that goes you know that's looking for you know a high horsepower car to you know to go have fun in Mexico with all right well what about driving it well the car handles really good uh, torque steer is definitely present but it's not that bad I've driven cars with works torque steer handling is really good um, there's some definitely there are some definite limits uh, and you you discover those after just a little bit of driving the car is not you know the be-all of handling cars it handles good but you know you can still you can still overextend it quite easily but uh, the thing I love about this car is that the back end will swing around if you need it to let's say you're coming on a corner hot and uh, you know maybe you don't have enough room to brake and you need the back end to swing around a little bit you just flick the wheel and the back end swings around and since the car is front wheel drive you know you never really lose control um, there's still a chance you can lose control if you don't know what you're doing obviously but you know I've never had an issue with it and I've used it a few times now and I love it anyways guys that's it for today I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video once again apologize for you know it taking so long for me to actually do this video I've been getting a lot of requests to do an update video on my ST and I've been wanting to but you know just finding the time and the motivation to go out and do it has been really hard so um, but um, I'm looking forward to doing more videos I want to do more uh, update videos uh, in the future and of course I want to do more you know review videos of sporty cars so hopefully that will be in the future hope you guys stay with me and uh, once again I appreciate all the support I'm coming up on 10,000 subscribers that's huge you know uh, I really appreciate all the love and support you guys give me take it easy guys